Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Receive Podcast. I'm Gus. I'm Griff. I'm Andrew. I'm Armando. And I'm Gus. Uh, hey, guys. Oh, hey! hey. Uh, I feel like I hear. I uh, still hear. The, I still the hear music. our music. I don't know if it's yeah. uh, playing on a delay on the screen somewhere. <laughs> oh no, there's, there's an ice. There's, a, there's an ice cream man outside. Yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, let's get into it. Why are you guys here? I yeah, got a calendar invite. Yeah, you got, got yeah. <laughs> You're here to cook me steaks. That's yes, right. We're gonna yeah. make some mistakes. Not just me. You're also cooking Barbara and Gav steaks. They're just off camera. They're gonna yeah. get. On, they're gonna get on here in a minute. Don't worry. You're gonna get your precious Gavin, guys. Don't even worry <laughs> yeah, about yeah, it. He's yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah, here yeah. for you. All right. G Gavin said, if we're nice, he'll show us a picture at a good camera. <laughs> but we have to be very polite. <laughs> yeah. If we're even coming. one person comments R.I.P. R.T.P., it's fucking <laughs> I don't know. over. over. Done. Get so um, this is the last episode of this iteration of Rooster Podcast. We're going to be uh, changing things up a bit, uh, and uh, we're going to have new hosts, and it's going to be a set cast going forward, and it's going to be you guys. You three. Whoa! Hey, whoa! You should have this... put that in the calendar and yeah. like, oh no! <laughs> I would have worn a nicer bandana! Whoa! <laughs> That's not your nice one? No. The, ni <laughs> the nice one's red. Uh, hey. Whoa, hey. hey, bro. Oh. <laughs> so as a, <laughs> so as a, oh, uh, well. a, a kind of a, a good-natured uh, hazing, I thought it would be fun for uh, to have a steak off one last time and to have uh, uh, us enjoy uh, the fruits of your labor. The fruits of our yeah. labor, yes. Yeah, because. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we only, you know we only have three steaks. There's a lot of people. There's a lot over of people. Yeah. Yeah, I'm well. eating half and of everyone over there is looking like us, like we turn, like they're stranded on a desert island. Yeah. So we're we're turning into steaks what? right now in their mind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I think we have um, uh, a video we want to play. Right. I'm, I'm trying to kick you guys off. Yeah. Oh, you're oh, kick oh, us you, out you of here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, so okay. yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was, Gus, what you have to understand is that we have spent the last 26 hours prepping the perfect steak for you. Yeah. We don't have any idea what you're talking about that, that isn't steak. Yeah. All, all that's on my steak. mind is A5 Wagyu, baby. Yeah, that's right. I'm curious to hear more about that. Well, let's, mm -hmm. uh, let's check this video out. Any, any, hey, so what have you guys been up to? Whoa. Oh, here it goes. I hear it. Welcome to the Rooster Teeth Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. I, 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 more. I started reverting back to a test episode. <laughs> that intro is so awesome. It's so sick. Yeah, you guys made the uh, song, right? Like, yeah, it was uh, a lot of Andrew. Andrew found a sample and then uh, uh, kicked over the stems to me. I think all I did was I made the drums, quote unquote, knock. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> which is, I think, code for just when a brown person plays. Song. <laughs> I put, him in the same put some juice. Yeah. yeah. Um, I played him exactly the same, and then white hip hop heads started going, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> that nodding thing in front of the Shit. speaker, holding mm. their chin. Yeah. Slightly like that. off beat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like clapping on the one and three. Yeah. Three, you already tried to uh, steal all your money. Yeah. It was a good time. Yeah. yeah uh, we made the intro. I kicked it back out to, uh, to Andrew, and then uh, Andrew messed with it some more. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey, hey Jeff. Hello, Jeffrey. So you're Jay Leno. Oh, no. Is right? it because of the chin? No, that's oh, how it's oh, a switchover. Oh, oh, you were yeah, Johnny yeah, Carson. Yeah, yeah, good. I like that. You were really? Jay Leno. Uh huh. Uh, which one do you use uh, Conan? I'll take the. I'll take the. I'll take the. Uh, and then the I guess that makes Jimmy me Fallon? Samantha B. Oh. <laughs> no. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> that was fucked up, guys. That's the meanest Damn. thing you've ever said to me. You know what's really funny? And this shows uh, a pretty distinct difference in the two different RTVs. Is I was trying to come up with a metaphor too. And the one I got was when Degrassi switched uh, cast. Oh, yeah. That's oh, what I was thinking. I was yeah. like, this is when they dropped the next generation. Yeah. yeah and, and then they you were, were just like, Degrassi the, again. what? The Tonight, the Show? Tonight Show? Yeah, no, I used the appropriate one. Yeah, that's yeah, that one. I, I like to think sense. of this as like Baywatch Nights. I don't know if you guys remember <laughs> Baywatch Nights. This yeah. is that's that's what we're really going, trying to go for. No, with but this. the show continues. You're just switching hosts, which is a time honored tradition yeah. in television and yeah. traditional media, of right? Yeah. Something that's been going for many, many years. I have invited myself on for two reasons. One, because I wanted to say congratulations to Gus and and the others. Yeah. Uh, and I'll give, I'll say something more heartfelt, I guess, when they're on. But also because uh, I wanted to welcome you guys and congratulate yeah. you and wish you luck. And also just let you know, now that Gus is no longer going to be on the podcast, 
I'm your guy. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I've only not been going on because of him. Yeah, we so now that he's out of the relationship. Oh, I love it. Oh, man. It's real, like real Paul McCartney, yeah. John Lennon situation, <laughs> situation over here. I got a reply to seven Reddit threads. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to go make me a steak. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we'll make a steak. I don't know how to get up from the streets. Stand up, buddy. These chairs are the first thing to go. Well, the second thing, the first thing. I'm going to go. While Barbara and Gab come in, I'm going to step out there for a second. I'll be right back. Do you guys know Armando had a hemorrhoid pillow here? Uh, what are you talking about? Yeah, you're talking over there. Why should I have a chance to hear it here? Oh, do we have a camera? We'll take it all you want to take it old school? No, you can take one. Oh, hi. I'm for a minute. I mean, you can stay here for as long as you want, Joe. Are we over here or over there? Where are we? Just take it. I've got to do it a lot. Oh. It's taking him a little longer to get set up. But not. Oh, for the steaks? Yeah. I, I thought well, they were ready to go. Mondo told me they've been, working, been up 26 hours working on a steak nonstop. He doesn't know what he's doing over there. <laughs> he's been cooking the same steak for 26 hours? That's jerky. So are we getting three steaks? Yeah. I think you are. One, each? one for one each. Of each. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're cooking nine steaks. Oh, there they go. Okay. They're finally I saw, moving. I saw the old sous vide uh, bag Gosh, go in in the so kitchen. Helpful. Let's hear. Let's vamp right. while they're doing yeah, that. All right. Uh, I assume we're still on camera, not them. Okay, uh, so this is, um, much much has been made about Gus leaving the RT podcast. <laughs> he, he and I did an anima yes. where I just, I just gushed over him and how much I respected him and how, what an amazing run it's been gushed? and what a big deal it is. And I didn't think about you guys at all. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys have been on it almost as long. So, A, I want to apologize. Oh, no. Second, I want to congratulate you because you guys have been around just as long as that idiot. Well, not just And as lifting just as, actually. In some ways, you've been doing heavier lifting because you've had to make up for his inadequacies, <laughs> of which there are many when it comes to hosting and entertaining, right? Yeah, so, well, uh, seriously, congratulations, though. How does it thanks, feel Jeff. you guys are going to be transferring on? Everybody here is still working at Rooster Teeth. We yeah. all are just helming new productions yeah. and new arms of the company, which is something that we've been doing for many, many years, which is transitioning yeah. from one role in the company to another one, releasing the reins to the next generation and and continuing to move forward. Yeah, uh, I think if people would like to hear more about that, like we definitely talk about that for a long time. Yeah, uh, in that and it's episode. a great episode. You uh, you, you tweeted about it. I did. Uh, yeah, I, I finished listening to it and I was like, damn, I feel like everyone needs to hear this. The stuff you guys talk about, the the points uh, you make is just it's really really great. I'm bummed I can't listen to it yet. It was <laughs> it was interesting. I'm it. <laughs> it was interesting because it was a very personal episode about what it's like to give something that you care about away. Right. Yeah. To turn it over to allow it to continue to grow without you. Right. And uh, something that Gus and I have both had to do many times over the course of Rooster Teeth. And in a lot of the comments, it just turned into a fight about, you know, (laughs) nonsense. And I feel like some people completely missed the point. This was a very long era within the company. Yeah. I feel like. And I I looked it up the other day. My first podcast was number, I think, 18. Holy shit. But then I remembered that I was actually in a podcast that didn't come out. You, I think you put up one in like 2008. Yeah, and then like, you did a bunch of test podcasts at the beginning of two thousand and nine, and I was on a couple of those. They never so that was out. technically like episode one point one or whatever, <laughs> and then it came back in uh, the summer. I think uh, I think it was or like May April or, or May yeah. of two thousand two thousand nine. I remember it came back as a weekly podcast, and the description was like, "We're here every week now." And then immediately the next week was like a week off. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, yeah, there was a, a fashion a weird transition period trying to uh, trying to figure out how to get everything going yeah. and get. Because it, it was, it, it's funny how much stuff has changed. Like from a, even from like a really low level technical standpoint, back then, anytime we released a new episode, I would have to rewrite, manually rewrite the RSS feed <laughs> to make a new entry in <laughs> Every it. single week? Every single what week. The and then sometimes I would like forget a quote or forget like a closed parenthesis or something and be like, <laughs> oh, nobody can download the podcast. <laughs> oh, oh where did I, I, miss, I missed a quote somewhere. <laughs> like I have to re- reread the whole file. Oh, that's so dumb. I guess I were talking about it. Uh, our oldest memories uh, associated with this podcast. Mm-hmm. I'd love to hear y'all's. And I, I, but I was thinking about it after we did that anima. And I think my, aside from the test episodes, I vaguely remember, I think my oldest memory of the podcast is maybe around episode four or five, you went out of town and I had to edit it. Mm. And I was like, this fucking sucks. Yeah. And that's, that I'm never doing this again. And I think you made me do it two more times. <laughs> and I used to like, I used to watch your calendar, like, this motherfucker's going out of town. I got to take vacation or something because I do not want to edit this. Well, thing. Back then, when we first started, we had no idea what we were doing. So I used to edit in Soundtrack Pro. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It was a nightmare. Which fucking sucked. Well, I don't even, I've never even heard of that program. It was like an <laughs> Apple audio editing program, it was like the equivalent of Final Cut Pro. Gotcha. But the equivalent audio. of like Final Cut 7. 
Right. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Final. It was, it was the final. It was the audio equivalent of final cut. And the reason you never heard it, is, it was useless. Like, yeah. It wasn't very yeah. good. It was slow. It was clunky. Then we switched to Garage Band when that came out. I remember the Mac that used to run the podcast recording at the beginning used to just pinwheel all the time. Yeah. And while it was recording, we'd all just be like. <laughs> <laughs> is it going to save? Well, the, the, what I realized eventually, and I don't know if you remember, that eventually got fixed. What I realized was that our scratch disk was an external USB drive. <laughs> <laughs> so it would pinwheel because the USB bus would get like overloaded with information. Super so it was fun. pinwheeling oh, because it couldn't write any more data. <laughs> Barbara, do you remember your first time on the RT podcast? Uh, I think, yes, I do remember my first time on the RT podcast, which is funny because I used to listen to the RT podcast before I got hired. Uh, and I was very bummed out when I started working here because if I was on the RT podcast, I wouldn't have a podcast to listen to that <laughs> week because I already knew what happened. <laughs> um, but my first time on, I think Bernie just like called me into the conference room in mm -hmm. uh, 636 uh, because I had just gotten hired like that week. And he's like, just want to say we, we have Barb now working here at Rooster Teeth, community manager, blah, 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 blah. I think I was there for like five minutes tops. Um, had no idea what to say. Still don't after... 12 years. Um, but yeah, I think I think that was my earliest memory. And of course, the tequila podcast. Oh, God. Who could um, forget that? Where we, which Hector is pumping his arms for. That was, uh, I think, the first time I ever got drunk at work. <laughs> it was like in the morning, too. It was like 1030 yeah. in the morning. I think, yeah, I think it was, might have been even earlier. I think it might have started at 10. That was a rowdy one. And also you put Michael on it, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That one was a complete mess. I would love to know each of our longest streaks. Mm, I started, so in 2020, I started keeping a spreadsheet of everyone's appearance on the podcast on a week-by-week -week basis because it helped me <clears throat> see who hasn't been on in a while. Right. I could see, like, um, how, how far back that went. It, it's, like, it's so little work to do in the moment, but to go back and then try to retroactively look at that, mm -hmm. it's such a huge pain in the ass. I was real. I had a pretty long streak for a while, and... I would always try, like, whenever I had to go to England, I would fly on Tuesday morning, <laughs> and I would fly back on Monday. And because of the time difference, I could actually take off at, like, noon in England, and I would be back in time for the eve. Like, I would go straight from the airport to the I RT think one podcast, time, I so think I one, would never ruin my streak. One time I flipped off your plane as it was landing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you did. I saw it here. So, yeah, I, I can see here, like, in 2000, I did 49, and Gavin and Barbara, you each did 48. Oh, Dang. But it was 2000. We were mainly doing at-home stuff. Right. Oh, 2020. I'm sorry, 2020. Yeah, I've yeah. said one. 2021. Yeah, that was almost every week. Oh, this is a this is a this is not right. Yeah, it's, now that there's no way I did 94 in 2021. Oh, it's adding the previous one as well. Gotcha. I did 45, I guess that year. I also remember the um the week where we did smaller ones every day of the week, probably 2009. Oh, did like a Thursday and, podcast, right? And yeah, and you wanted to off yourself. That yeah, week. and <laughs> I loved it. I wanted to keep going because I I want to be Howard Stern. Yeah, and like, they were short. They were like 30 minutes a day, right? Yeah, we just did five days of it, and yeah, you were like never ever again. And I was like, let's do it next week. <laughs> yeah. We also did the, the Thursday RT podcast a few years ago. I don't know if you guys remember yeah. that. It was like a, usually a different cast. Oh yeah, That's right. um, I, forgot, I forgot about. See, uh, my middle. Of this is so, so my memory is so bad. I remember the beginning and I remember like the very recent. It all gets sandwiched a, together. Yeah, it? yeah. Such a blur. How long did y'all do the the Thursday one for? It was only for like a month or two. No, it was. A I few thought it was months. longer. Than was that, it yeah. that long? I want to say maybe six months. That they why did. did you start it and why did you stop? It? I think do it was just remember? an experiment to see about trying to get to a more regular. Like could it could this basis? podcast support multiple days? Right. A week, with, kinda, yeah. yeah. I forget uh, why though. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Sounds like a. I mean, <laughs> probably trying to cram ad rates. Into <laughs> I mean, the why was probably well, it was probably a Bernie idea. It, right? I think it was. It, Bernie. it definitely, yeah. it definitely yeah. was. Yeah, it yeah. sounds like a uh, Bernie he idea. He had some of those like one-on-one -on -one podcasts too, where he just had, like, himself uh, and I liked one other those. person. Yeah. yeah, those were fun. Yeah, they were. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go check on those idiots out there now that they're settled. Um, Please do. They're they're mic'd up. I'm gonna ask them real fast what they're cooking. Okay. Um, you you'll be able to hear us in here. I think. Okay, we'll shut the fuck up when you guys start talking. It does smell good already. It does smell good. That's why I want to go check. Mm. Oh my god, do I have COVID? I don't smell it. No, you, you can't have it again. I don't. Have Can you have it twice in three weeks? <laughs> <laughs> that soon. Maybe my nose sucks. We're also what, facing the wind. Maybe what do we got? What do we got going out here? What do you mean? What, what are you doing? We're grilling. Oh, we're waiting for the grill to heat up. Oh, you you haven't put the steaks on yet? No, oh. no, no, it's, it's not. It's not even close to hot it's enough. It's not hot enough. <laughs> is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, first of all, you're not understanding the core mechanics of grilling, which grilling is an excuse yeah. to fucking drink with the homies. That all right? is hundred percent. So why don't right. you sit down, crack open a Modelo, and yeah. uh, you're, you're, it's an excuse to drink. You're drinking Trulies? Yeah. 
I opened it, it before I saw the Modellos. No, I'm drinking a Pacifico Clara, what, uh, which is uh, the correct move. What, what, drinking what, an East Cider. Yeah, what are you all grilling? I'm, that's what I'm, I don't oh, care about oh, that. Oh, 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 what, what's oh, going on? I, I went to the grill expecting to see steaks. What's going on over here? Oh, I have a steak in the bag. Okay. Oh, did you get that? I used the Truly to open the Modelo. <laughs> <laughs> I have a steak in a bag. Uh, I sous vide mine. Oh my God, okay. Uh, I borrowed oh, Mariel's sous vide. Like uh, I think I did pretty good. I think it's technically done. Like you could eat it out of this bag if you wanted to. I wouldn't. No, no, no. But you could. Okay. No, that's awful. But there are occasions. Is this you here, Andrew? This is me right here. Got a little oil, no, salt and pepper. Oh, I like, that's all you need. Look at that. Thick, look at that. Yeah, it's just very nice. Look at that. There's a camaraderie. Unbelievable. And he's just drinking. Do. Okay. Yeah. I assume that's you with garlic. He's taking the he's taking the uncle position at the grill. I I want to point out one thing. If you'll come over here, Gus. Out of the three of us, I'm the only one with something on the grill. There's an. Are those both yours? No, that's my pan. No, but the garlic's he put mine. The gar he put his garlic in my pan, which he did not ask me to do that. So he you've got something on the grill, but it's not even in your pan. He's just yeah. seasoning my pan, really. All right, good luck, guys. It looks Here, like a. Uh, how is this? Color in for it. <laughs> nice weather, huh? <laughs> I, need, I need to test the hotness of this pan. Oh, yeah. I'm out of practice, so I'm drinking anymore. Okay. <laughs> Gus, you. <laughs> you missed something. You missed. I had an accident. Um, I love that you guys were over here smelling the steaks that aren't on the fucking yeah. grill yet. <laughs> As someone who's competed in the steak off multiple years, uh, I can tell you they're fucked. Uh, we're not getting any steaks. What, is it yeah, good? they started. What they happened? haven't started. What are they it doing? It a good half hour to heat your grill up. I thought that's what they were doing already. Are they using charcoal? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. You guys are going to have to vamp for a couple hours. I mean, but then when they actually start cooking, it doesn't take but you can a long pre time. I feel like for the amazing steak off where... Uh, I shoved the Big Mac up some steaks. We had that stuff done in the first half an hour. Yeah. Probably because the grills were prepped. Yeah, I totally cooked my steak as well <laughs> that year. And nobody was mad about it. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. it's. Uh, I still get I, death threats over that. That's crazy. It's, uh, pe people are too fucking... Does anybody I also have a way for it. Barbara to drink this? Oh, I was fucking up the table when I was trying to do I'll it. I'll recreate what I did earlier, and it worked really well. <laughs> and it went in your shoe. Are you, are you just pushing? Oh my god, he's destroying the table. We don't need the matter. table anymore, right? That's true. Good. That's Newcast problem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it works perfectly. <laughs> god damn. We were, in a, we were in a meeting. I was just telling Barb, sometimes I miss drinking. <laughs> and this, this is one, now I don't. Not anymore. <laughs> I, it's, it, it's funny. I, I do, I don't, uh, I do <laughs> occasionally miss the taste of beer. Yeah. I and too. I was uh, I was sitting at home the other night, and like a, a commercial. I was watching TV because I'm a fucking dinosaur, and a commercial for like a non-alcoholic beer came on. And I was like, I could go buy one of those right now. I could go. Dude, I could go for one of those. I go. I go round and round on non-alcoholic beer too because I also miss the taste of beer. Like there is like. Does the non-alcoholic stuff taste good? Yeah, but. It's dangerous because it just makes me want beer. Ah, uh, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And so it's better just to stay away. Yeah. But goddamn, dude, there a c ice cold Lone Star after cutting the grass on a really fucking hot day. Uh, that was nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like non-alcoholic beer has its use. Like if I'm out with Dan in the quarry and it's getting to the end of the day, we just crack out some non-alcoholic beers just because it feels like the thing to do at the end. That's but nice. We also don't want to get hammered. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, especially you. You got to drive back. <laughs> <laughs> got to drive the U-Haul back. <laughs> uh, I, I was I was uh, flying the other day in uh, one of those small planes, as I do, and uh, I looked out the window. It's like, oh shit, I'm over the quarry. Oh, like, I flew right over the quarry, and I looked down. I was like, oh, that's where we filmed the the anniversary videos. Uh, was the anyone down day. there? No, there was no there was no one there. I was shocked. I didn't see anyone. I was like, oh, that's the that's the quarry <laughs> right there, dude. When Gus and I were there filming that those anniversary videos, like I don't know, three months ago. There were four different shoots going on at the same That's time. That's crazy. We got, I got, I went to two wrong shoots before I found ours. Is that an apple? Limes. It's oh. a nice place. Oh. <laughs> Bring hey, this over here, Hector. You kids want apple slices? I thought it was maybe an appetizer. Thank you, Hector. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just yeah. When we were doing the, yeah, I went to, I think, two different wrong sets. Yeah. I think Jeff and I met at the front of the quarry. We both didn't know where we were going. I was like, I'm just going to drive in. I'll find it. And I went to like two different sets that were the wrong ones. And I had to call... We called someone. Who do, I think we called Neil to figure out where we had to go. Mm. One of them was a uh, was a was a boot company, right? I can't think I of remember. what they're called, like Eagle or I don't know. One of those. Yeah, when I'm filming out there, I constantly have to avoid the uh, 
just people going full auto at the firing range mm. for like 30 seconds straight. And also these big trucks just dumping slurry down the cliff <laughs> into us. But uh, other than that, it's a pretty good place to film. We, we filmed something out there. Um, I can't say what it is because it's for the anniversary videos. Um, but I had never driven out there before. And I have like a tiny little Honda. Uh -huh. It's not a great car yeah. to drive out in the court. No. It snapped off a bottom of my car, like a piece <laughs> of the on the bottom of my car. Was it important? Apparently not. It still worked. Did you still keep that around? piece or did you leave it in the corner? No, well, I hadn't, I didn't know that it oh. like snapped it off. Oh, state cam. Oh, nice. Until I was state driving pit. down the highway and heard a dunk and like, realized that something oh. had come off my car that got And you're unleashed. just like, were you just like, eh, fuck it. Yeah. The car still works. If, none of the, none I, of the gauges probably, went. If I had to guess, it was probably like a, she, a metal sheet sure. blocking some shit. Shielding or something. Yeah. But I don't know. Do you have stuff to report now? Are you gonna go? Well, I'm gonna go look at it. It looks like they actually have. We have uh, steaks on the ground up here. It looks like there is actually meat on the fire. <laughs> uh, Something to smell now. Let me go see I, what's going on. Wouldn't it be um, appropriate if we got food poisoning on the first and last perfect, steak off? <laughs> perfect way to go out. I think. You know, we got food poisoning on the first one, or Gavin did at least. Did yeah, you really? I shit, and I was. Yeah, I was doing the old um, vomiting and shitting at the same time. Uh, he claims it was burning steak, but I think it might have been Gus's. Motherfuckers. Did Gus get sick? <laughs> <laughs> I hear only this half of the other. <laughs> <laughs> Angry, so aggressive. Do you think? Looks like there's actually stuff on the there's fire. There's actually there's stuff, stuff on, on the fire. fire. It's actually getting some color, getting some char. And I'm adding a nice smoky flavor to no. mine. No! No! I don't think that's how you do that. That's not Wrong the flavor country! That's Wrong flavor country! No! <laughs> Oh, there's ash oh, is it on going it. the other way? Oh, no. There's ash on it. Mm. We're using a charcoal grill. Did you think there wasn't going to be ash <laughs> on your Well, not steak? from, look not at from your mouth. Don't blow on it. We should have never gotten rid of COVID-4. We should have never gotten rid of COVID. <laughs> All right, have fun. <laughs> hands are in Whoops. hands over here. This is going to be the last RT podcast that you core group are going to all be on together. Maybe I'm not saying the last never because they could all get food poisoning one day and you guys That's have true. to sub in or something. Oh, we'd be uh, the B team? But yeah. But uh, yeah, you guys can be the, the, the break in, in case of old. Yeah. Uh, We're going to be the people that come on and everyone goes, I only watch it when it's the other cast. Yeah. <laughs> when, yeah, I, that's what I, right? I hope so. I'm tuning out. I'm tuning out. So yeah. I'm tuning out. It's those assholes again. Yeah. <laughs> but because you guys won't be on this anymore in this configuration, uh, where are you going to be? Like what? Like you're focusing on always open, all good, no worries, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you're going to be continuing to do new stuff there and pumping out content. Yeah, I'm managing that channel, so trying to figure out what we could do, what we could change, new things to try, um, but also just uh, I don't know, making the best content possible for that channel. You guys are in the very best phase of a production to be in. When you it's so? launched and you've 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 got some heat and you've got some success and now you're like now you got to keep it rolling and the, all the new ideas start coming in. It's like Dude, the it's, it's when scary. like all the creative blossoming happens. It's when all the momentum gets built. It's like it's really the most fun. You like right when you realize when it catches some steam and you're just like grabbing on to the back of a train. And it's just fucking taking off. I hope so. It is a very daunting task to start something from scratch. Like yes. all good, no worries, and to try to like. Get people over, find new audience, uh, appeal to the existing audience. It's a lot of like juggling that you have to do, as I'm sure you guys all know, with different projects. Trying to get a bunch of people who only want to watch Gavin and I play Minecraft to listen to an <laughs> audio <laughs> podcast that has nothing to do with video games. Yeah. Yeah, I totally get it. <laughs> I, I feel a like we... Bit of a tough sell. We kind of had that in a much slower version with Stinky Dragon. Yes. Where we, you know, put a lot of work into it and it was... Just so it was a really slow start and then eventually started building steam and they really took off and now it's like Some people just do that all the time and like that, that's their entire focus Honestly, like you mentioned all good no worries and always open are things that I'm working on but stinky dragon is another huge right? project that Gus and I uh, Blaine John Chris Micah a bunch of people Ben are working on as well behind the scenes um, that I Fucking love that show so mm -hmm. much. Is it I love favorite? being on it. I, it might it's be one of, of my favorite things we've ever done at Rooster mm -hmm. Teeth. Um, because everyone is just like so passionate about that show, but there's so much potential for growth. And the thing I love also is the community we've built around mm -hmm. it is so incredibly positive, supportive, yeah. nice. They do fan art, they have their own Discord, their own subreddit, everything like that. And it's just like this really positive community. It's got its own full fledged distinct community. Yes. Which is like the best thing you can hope for, right? Absolutely. And you guys definitely have that. Have, have captured that with Stinky Dragon, which I think is phenomenal. Uh, you're going to be moving on. Uh, you are going to continue to do Stinky Dragon. Yeah. 
and uh, you're going to be uh, winding Black Box down to start another podcast within the spirit of Black yeah, Box Down. Um, Black Box I was, down, down. I was supposed to get final approval on it today, but that meeting got moved to Wednesday. Uh, but fuck it, I'm going to say it anyway. What do you care? Uh, <laughs> yeah. If you say it, By the way, it, it makes it happen. It's the best idea. It's, it's I think a, it's the best idea. It's a podcast about the Cold War that it's like it's going to be a history podcast that goes over like the history of the Cold War, but it's contextualized in Billy Joel's We Didn't Start the Fire. So it's like every episode <laughs> is one lyric and how that lyric relates to the Cold War. So it'll be like a Doris Day episode? Right. That's yeah. the second episode. Damn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, you know, you start with uh, Harry Truman, you end with uh, Rock and Roll Color Wars, uh, and then just got going lyric by lyric, analyzing what that means, why it was important to history, and how it plays into the bigger... Like why it's in the song. Cold right. War. So right. cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that... Um, Billy Joel has said that he's not necessarily a big fan of that song because he said it's just talking. Yeah, it's a uh, list. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's a list that he's just reading. But I, I want to do a song about my grocery. But list. But it's very imp- it's very bananas, dis- eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's a great idea. Sorry. Uh, I say, it's very historically significant because it, it captures what was important in that moment. Right. You know, and, and you know, growing up as relevant. a kid, I felt like it's a song I heard so many times, and I got the idea because, like, during lockdown, like in twenty. 20- 20 it must have been uh i was like driving around with like you know we couldn't go anywhere everything was closed i was driving around austin the streets were empty and the song came on and i was listening to it in my car and i thought i've been listening to the song for like 30 years and i don't know what half these things are yeah it's like if i'm thinking this like surely other people are thinking the same thing too and i've been wanting to make it for you know several years now but it's just been i remember you talking about that time. pre-pandemic like that you wanted to do that yeah, show it, it, it's, it's been an, an, an ongoing thing so I'm, I'm happy we're finally I'm finally getting it. Hopefully, be able to make it. I'm supposed to get permission today, but <laughs> watch you get denied <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> I don't think people realize how long some of some of these things take to make. Like yeah. when we first did Hardcore Monopoly, that took about four years from concept to to it finally airing. Uh, Black Box Down took us a, probably a, over a year. It took a long <laughs> time, two years, that, yeah. yeah, before that launched. Um, a lot of work get, goes into these things before people ever see them. Sometimes Absolutely. people don't realize. And, and I've got another uh, podcast I'm working on as well. That one's a lot earlier. Yeah. Um, in production, uh, it, it's. You're not ready to talk about that. What that concept is yet? He explained uh, it. To thinking me, about it, and I, uh, I still don't understand it. I'm work. <laughs> it's it's not even greenlit yet. Uh, but I'll, I'll say it anyway. Fuck it. What are they gonna do? Fire me? Uh, <laughs> uh, he um, explains uh, the lyrics to uh, Britney um, Spears's "Hit Me, Baby, One More by Time," the way, word by word. He's finally not scared of getting fired. For the first <laughs> 19 and a half years, he was terrified I'm, of getting fired constantly. I'm working on adapting "Good News Ratman" into <gasps> a narrative uh, podcast. Uh, like a like, scripted narrative? Yeah, scripted. Like almost sitcom style with like full audio treatment, like almost like a radio play. Would it be with Eric? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, but like uh, just, ab- you know, just really trying to lean into it. And I've been trying to, I've been pitching it around and there's a lot of people in the like, what? What is this? What are you talking about? Um, so I don't know that it's going to get made, but that's what I'm really working on. We're, we're working on writing uh, some episodes and trying to see if we can get people excited about it and make that's it. That's awesome. And you're also going to continue doing Anma with yes. me. You and I have our own podcast where we show up every Monday morning and we talk about the old days, if you will, and, uh, and a little bit about Austin, but it's mostly about the old days uh, and just sharing stories uh, from, the, or, you know, from the early days of Rooster Teeth or before, uh, and then an excuse to drink a cup of coffee, um, which I feel like we're really kind of, we're really hitting a good stride. We, oh, we had our first technical difficulties today. Oh, yeah, it was not great. We've ne- it was the first time we lost an episode. Oh, lost you the lost whole the whole episode. Yeah. Well, we were about 40 minutes in when we lost it. Were you recording to an external USB drive? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we had to redo it, but it was fun. It, it was the, 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 the recorder ate the audio files. Like, we've been looking at it. It had been on. Then all of a sudden, it just, like, turned off. Wouldn't, wouldn't turn back on. Then when we got pulled the SD card and put it into a computer, all the tracks were different lengths. And, like, audish, Audition wouldn't <laughs> open the tracks. It said oh, they wow. were corrupted. But you could play them in VLC. So what do you, uh, at that point, do you start over and touch on the same things you already talked about, or do you just start fresh? Uh, we did a recap of one or two funny things that we talked about, but we mostly just started from that. Gotcha. Like, I, I, the direction I wanted to go into it is, let's talk about all the technical difficulties we've had in the past. All the times <laughs> that we've had, like, you know, there were days in Achievement Hunter, we had a hell day one time where we lost four and a half hours of footage. Ugh. 
uh, we, in Minecraft. We had to redo a surprising amount, yeah. but I always sort of appreciate the energy that came, like, I, I liked redo energy, because we, we're all like... I do too. Sort of worked up, and it, and it creates something totally different a lot of the time. And, and that's kind of what happened here, is that was the plan I had for it, but then we just went off on a tangent, and then we talked about totally different stuff. But Eric felt so fucking bad, he and felt I felt terrible. so bad for yeah. Eric. And I kept trying to tell him, like, you really, this is not a big deal. It like, happens. we're happy to roll. Like, this is a part of it, and it's part of the fun of it, you know? We were so... We did it so shit for so long, like talking about like the USB drive, yeah. and when we used to record in the capture window of Final Cut Seven, like all of our game stuff. Which yeah, we did. If if one frame dropped, it would just, it, just abandon it, oh. the whole clip. Yeah, and we just didn't ever change that for years. And I we, think if the uh, whatever audio program we used crashed, we would just lose the entire video every time. Like yes. if the power went out, there would be no recovering. It happened a lot. Do you need me to leave? No, no, you're fine. Uh, welcome to the Rooster Teeth Pub. Here to take your order. Uh, if there, oh, I'm, or, or I'm do you? you you're mic'd up. Then you don't need it. You're good. Am I double mic'd up? Now you're double mic'd. Okay. I don't. I'm. I normally just work in restaurants. Do you want this one too? Yeah. So uh, I've come here to take your order. This is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I've come here to take your orders, guys. Uh, do you want to hear about tonight's special? Uh, I would love to Absolutely. hear the specials. Um, Where's the restroom, by the way? It's all around you. Okay. You know Gus is vegan during the week, right? Well, I'm making an exception for uh, for first takeoff. Well, this is pre-recorded. What? <laughs> no, it's not. No, no, we're live, but he's pre-recorded. <laughs> I'm pre-recorded. Yeah. yeah. I he... recorded all my dialogue. <laughs> this is all, day. yeah, this was at the weekend. <laughs> but we're, we're live. Yeah. yeah, you're dubbing this whole thing. Uh, we have, today we have uh, three specialties for you. We have uh, steak a la Andrew. Um, it's a uh, Spanish-inspired dish. Uh, 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 plays with a lot of Brazilian flavor palettes. Uh, r really interesting stuff. Spanish or Brazilian? It's both. Okay. Uh, the Spanish got around. Uh, I thought the Portuguese did Brazil. Oh, oh I thought I was mic'd up. He's got a love. I have a love. It's probably cut off. Okay, well... <laughs> He's by three mics and none of them. <laughs> Somebody who speaks some form of Spanish went over and messed up a whole lot of land, and now we've got a country out of it. <laughs> okay, okay. Got you it. can ask my ancestors or the Brazilians. Okay. Uh, the, then we have steak a la, a, a la griff, okay. uh, which is a, a sort of a classic take on uh, uh, the reverse sear, you know, and, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, you've got a, a, a decent cook throughout with a, a nice brown crust. Um, and then we've got steak a la vato. <laughs> What's that? Uh, that's just like a homeboy we found in the back alley. Just cook up a steak real quick. Okay. What car is that? Why are we filming someone in their car? <laughs> <laughs> it's a license plate. Can you tell the camera guy to get the license plate? <laughs> and and uh, oh, sorry. What's the what's the what else do you have? What yeah, the steak specials? that you dropped a uh, bunch of ash all over. What? Yeah. Which one was that? It's all of them. Okay. It's just a general <laughs> smattering of all of them. I wanted to add a kind of smoky flavor that you yeah. don't really get. Um, yeah, Until yeah, I yeah. realized that we were cooking with a charcoal grill, mm -hmm. which is all smoke based. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're adding the 80s smoky flavor. Yes. You can't find that anymore. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. I, I add like the flavor of like, oh, mom really did have just five minutes before she had to go be a nurse in the <laughs> first act of this horror movie. <laughs> I, I think if people were in chat saying, I think that was BK trying to order a drive through steak. Oh, exactly. <laughs> oh. I'm going to be honest with you. We ran into a little bit of problems and uh, we didn't, I didn't, I, I was almost going to do a repeat bit and ordered her like fogo de chow or something. <laughs> oh. We weren't sure that that was going to heat up, but I'll, I'll leave you guys to it. I just wanted to come and take your order. Can I get you any drinks? All three. All three. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah. For the Same. table. It's, it's good to share. Uh, just to let you guys know, we do add an instant 400% gratuity. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Um, well, there are, there's four of us. Yeah, but tips sure. are What's mandatory. What's 400% of zero? Yeah. Oh, It'd oh, still be four. zero, but the cost is astronomical. Oh, okay. Can I get you anything to drink? No. no I'm, I'm, I'm good. No, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Thank All you, right, sir. We'll do you, right have a, we'll do you have a bottle opener? Do I have a bottle opener? Yeah. Yeah. That's my order. I don't have one, but oh, I can okay. open that's a bottle. That's what I was asking. You said, yeah. Do you want to open that one? Well, I don't know if you saw it earlier, but I opened a beer with a Truly. I opened one with a table. I didn't go well. No. Oh. It's very wet. That's very let me see your beer. Tip goes to. <laughs> oh, we got Andrew. Do you want a butter opener? Butter. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, uh, look. It's a down. stick of butter. I was, I was down. going to eat the, the butter. Worst. Now it's all carpeted. Oh. oh. <laughs> What's that? No, I don't have it anymore. Fine. I got it. <laughs> oh. We, you know oh, what the best really part about well, that is? Thank you. Very much. You know what the best part of this? You ruin the fucking butter. The butter. You know what the best part of that bit was? Is I used the the 100% eat, and then I looked at the other side. <laughs> 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 it 
It's got a fucking bottle. I thought he did that on purpose. Oh my god. No. <laughs> I'm never funny on Thank purpose. That, he's that resourceful. And we'll be back right right away with your order. Thank, Thank you, sir. I gotta I say, sure. that's uh, great. Getting like physically close to Armando uh, a couple times here today. He, you would expect him to smell bad, but he doesn't. No, he oh, looks good. It's odorless. I don't think you would expect Absolutely him to smell bad. Absolutely odorless. He's, no, he I do. smells delicious. I do. He looks like he's stinky, maybe, but he's not. He's odorless. <laughs> and this is coming from a guy who everybody expects to smell bad, and I don't. I smell fucking you fantastic. Smell great. Everybody thinks I'm homeless, but I'm not. There no. was one I have day a home where you came where in. I shower. There was one day where you came in and you were like, oh, I smell. And you, you like really freaked out because you smelled bad one day. Yeah, I would in never. Like 10 years. I would never. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm back to two showers a day. I was about to ask how many times a day. Yeah, just two. Morning and night. Morning. I, I don't want to get into the sheets anymore d- dirty. I, and, uh, I'm starting about half the time now, yeah, twice a day. Yeah. Especially if I go for like a bike ride or something in the oh, day. You guys yeah. are nuts. How, the how time, do you have time to twice shower a day? twice yeah, a I day? Feel like I, need it. I mean, it takes 10 minutes to take a shower. I shower every second. <laughs> Maybe third day. <laughs> Oh, it's I really know that every second. More if I work out. <laughs> every second day. Uh, I'm just too lazy. Nah, I, I, I don't mind it. Like like Jeff said, if if it's like 10, 15 minutes that can make me feel a lot better, then yeah, yeah absolutely. I won't wash my hair a second. No, time no. Or anything, well, that's the but problem I'll... is if I get the hair wet, it's like a whole whole thing. Right. Yeah. The production. It's the same with Emily. She has to wear a bonnet yeah. thing all the time. Uh, so it's Gavin... the time of year where if I like bend down to pick up an old drinks can, I start sweating there. So yeah. that's why showers are important. Sure. What uh, what about you? We've talked about where where the rest of you guys are going to be appearing post this podcast. Uh, wherever you are, well, that's like the sweetest thing uh, anybody's ever said to me. But it's also true. Uh, but it's also true. So you'll be continuing <laughs> to do slow mo, guys. Uh, I assume you're not going to wind that down anytime soon. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, it's still fun. <laughs> and then you'll slowly. you'll be in fuckface. Uh, we don't have a beat. But well, yeah, I've, yeah, we it, it, reading the RTX ad reads for fuckface has been <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Because we don't curse on Black Box Down or Stinky Dragon. Oh, so what do you do? Bleep face? I say Bleep Face. The oh, Bleep fine. Face Museum. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I just did a read for this episode. It's like, but I can say Fuck Face here. So in my mind, I have to keep track. What show am I doing an ad read for? Can I say Fuck Face or do I have to say Bleep Face? <laughs> yeah, I, I have a, re- a weird issue with that podcast where I think I'm genuinely addicted to it. Yeah. Same. Like, I don't really know what I would do without it. Yeah. No, point. it's become like therapy and yeah. <laughs> all rolled into one. Yeah. And I just think in a different way now. And it has such a deep, stupid law. I get depressed when we're done. Like, <laughs> I can't sleep the night before, which is where you are. I know we both talked about that. And then for about two hours before it starts, I pace around my house, just like thinking about yeah. it and what I'm going to talk about. And I get real like it, fidgety. And then when it's over, I feel like it's like a sugar high coming down. It's like a, it's a real bum. And then I think about like, this is the longest I have to wait before I get to do this again, this moment, this sucks. Yeah, I wish we did it more, but... You could. could it, you the show it's doesn't work good. more than once a week. What we can do is we uh, we just create supplemental content. Yeah. Like, we do other stuff, which is nice because it's a it's conceived as an audio-only podcast I saw anyway. you guys do the Sloppy Joe's Bingo. So we do Sloppy Joe's Bingo. Such a great and, idea. Did you see thank that? Thank you, by the way. Uh, so it was hard to hear because we were here doing that stream when yeah. you guys were doing that, and I was in the kitchen where they had the stream on the TV, but the volume was so low... Mm. And I was like, oh, I wish I could also like see your guys' faces to like react to the things because it was just the screen of the the webcam. Yeah, I guess. Well, uh, there's so much to look at. I when guess you're that's playing. true. I think we would be distracting, and there's nowhere on the screen that's not super important. That's very <laughs> true. All kinds of awesome stuff, dude. I got a clip the other night. I'll show you. This lady tried to get into Sloppy Joe's with a fake. Uh, this is Saturday night. She tried to get into Sloppy Joe's with a fake ID, and the guy fucking chucked it, and it went into the street and hit a car. Wow, <laughs> it was wild. It was really awesome. I wonder if we should. Uh, if we just start collecting our own clips from when we do it privately, we could make a best of Sloppy Joe's 2023. I think so. I've been thinking about just doing a TikTok. Because we'll I record account. them and send them to you and Andrew. Yeah. I just like just releasing those. Although you need to do, a be- do it better than filming your TV with a phone. Yeah, no, can't I just like, do a screen capture? That's exactly what I was going to ask. Well, I, I only just watch it on TV in my house. So when I see something funny, I'll just rewind it 15 seconds and then just capture it with my phone. Yeah. I think that's charming. I <laughs> Otherwise, I have to watch it on a computer. I was thinking about this the other day. Like, obviously... With the RT podcast changing, I was like, at first I was thinking, oh, I won't be on the show with Gus anymore. And I'm like, oh, I have Stinky Dragon still, yeah, so there right. is something I get to do with him. But I don't really do any content with you, Jeff. No. Although most people don't because you mainly do fuckface. But then also I'm like, when am I, I going to see my boy Gav anymore? Because we don't have anything together. So and I'm now like, Gavin and Gus don't have anything either. It's true. So wh- we got we to gotta figure something out Cuts. to at least see you like once a month. Yeah, I feel like... Uh, yeah, that's that's just gonna be so weird. We text a lot though. Yeah, we do. We just talk about, we talk about Zelda a lot lately. Yeah, 
Uh, I definitely Zelda don't fails. text any of the three of you. Uh, I know. These days. The only time Jeff and I text is about like organizing stuff for Anima. <laughs> we don't. Well, Even our, our text chat has, with Eric has been renamed Anima. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> well, we can't text that much just because it just turns into content. Well, yeah, yeah the, the problem with putting your making a podcast about your friendship is you, the friendship can exist outside the podcast. Yeah, yeah. So it goes we kind of have to pause. It goes from you wanting because naturally I want to tell you about something first if something funny happens. Yeah, and I end up telling you last because I have to save it for the recording. <laughs> <laughs> but, by the way, we haven't gotten there yet. But have you and Andrew played a game together yet? No. These fuckers like they play no. video games together at night all the time, and that's how they like bond. Him and a him Andrew? and Andrew. Yeah, well, I don't want anything to do with that stuff. I don't like <laughs> video games anymore. Uh, that's kid stuff. But uh, so they play their video games together, and then they like their friendships balanced. It's even. They've stopped playing games together, and they're at each other's throats oh, in the shit. last couple episodes of the podcast. <laughs> when did that it stop? Really aggressive. No, it got really so like I had to put, I had to like intervene and be like, "Listen, I need to schedule a play date for you guys because <laughs> we need to talk literally. about our feelings. You work some of this out." Also, I would be honored to go on Always Open sometime. I would love to have you. I know we've talked about it in the past. Yeah, I, I think I gave you a wishy washy answer, but uh, it's just because I try to be non committal about everything. For sure. Um, but I would absolutely go on uh, uh, Always Open. We'd love to. I mean, I, you're one of my favorite people to have on that show. Oh, thank you. If, it, if and when appropriate. You absolutely. Know? Yeah. For sure. I don't want to crowbar too. my way in. I'd love to have you on. You yeah. can't, uh, I don't think there's an easy prank to play on me, though, this time. So I'll, just, I'll try and think of something. <laughs> I don't think the other one was easy either. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Yeah. There's a lot of effort. Put I was into out that late prank. the night before. <laughs> <laughs> Still one of my favorite moments of all time from that show. But yeah, I don't know. I guess we just got to hang out more. Yeah. Well, it's summer. It's hangout season, right? That's true. If only I <laughs> hangout season. <laughs> oh, a little uh, browse across the table. It was funny though when uh, Gus put out that video the other week about talking about the RT podcast and how we're moving on to yeah. new hosts and how it's going to be his last podcast. And then I saw Gavin after that video came out, and I was like, "It's also our last podcast." <laughs> <laughs> Listen, they we, told me to talk such a about weird me. Announcement. We contemplated making the same video word you, for word. I, I was going to do it. I was going to do a thing on Instagram where you know how people like react to videos yeah. where they like small and green screen. I was just going to be <laughs> sitting through your whole thing and then just be like, "Yeah, same." same. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't do it. God, that would have been fucking funny. <laughs> I, did, I thought that might be disrespectful. No, that's really funny. <laughs> to the announcement. But it's funny because people are like, oh, it's like, I, I'm sorry I didn't acknowledge that it's also y'all's last podcast. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, but it's Gus's show. Like, it, you you started the podcast. It's been yours. You've been hosting it for over a decade, right? Yeah, long time. Way, and way so it's like way more. I think, you know, maybe people don't think about that when they watch it or when they listen to it. It's like every week I send the invites. I figure out who's going to be on and start like asking around after... You know, deal with like, is there anything we're trying to promote, and when we need to get on? Which is fucking annoying, by it's, the way. Yeah. And or, I know how annoying it is because I know how low I am on the bother list. <laughs> and like, I know when you get to me to ask me if I can be on it, you've had to go through like twelve people at Not that point. Always, sometimes, sometimes, yes. Um, but yeah, it's a, uh, it's a lot of work. That's why, that's why I had that spreadsheet. Like, who can I? I like who can I bother? On the, uh, on the recurring calendar invite, it ended. And you just wrote, or someone just wrote, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> was, was that you? Yeah. <gasps> Hello. Oh. Oh, he's not bringing us anything. What, what was your favorite era of this podcast? Like, like where we made them? Like in the hmm, Ralph Robinator Congress room, or, or the five? or the annex, or the back room, at, or downtown where it started. Or so, that that was originally how I got on it. Was just because I worked in that room. Yeah, no, none of those early ones. Those were all <laughs> terrible. To how many did we do at out. Congress? I don't know. A good amount. Probably fifty or sixty, maybe. Yeah. Right. It was still drunk tank when we got to Albanada. Yes. Wasn't the vid the first video one a hundred? That was one hundred. But that yes. was still and that was in the conference room. Yeah, and that was still drunk tank. Yes. And yeah, and that was Ralph Albanada. Yes. Uh, that I still disagree with the name change. By the way. You still want it to be Drunk Tank? I don't think it should be Drunk Tank. <laughs> it would, wouldn't it be funny if the new cast changed it back to Drunk Tank? They fucking could. That would be awesome. <laughs> um, uh, favorite era would probably be sta stage five, like probably right before pandemic, just because I felt like we were all like in the zone. We all knew what we were doing. The <gasps> crew was uh, great. Like everyone, they had all that shit nailed down. Like everyone, I did, everyone knew what they were doing and we just had it all uh had it all on lock. So basically everything from the moving truck podcast to yeah. the beginning of the pandemic. pandemic. Your yeah. cool big set. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right. that set was nice. I think I think they're done cooking. I like the day we I'm switched excited. sets. Hey. That was fun. Hey! Right. Are, so, are you all going to eat them? Yeah. yeah. 
What? That's not fair. <laughs> That's what the steak off is, right? I'm vegan. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm vegan on weekends, and we pre-recorded, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's, let's see what you got. All right, what are, are they bringing it to us? What are we doing? Come, You're to, gonna, come to us. Come explore the... We don't the, have microphones. We'll come to you. Okay, just watch the feed. Right, what watch watch Kelly. Um, I have a ribeye with a fig and cherry balsamic uh, demi glaze. And this was sous vide. Yes. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love sous vide. But I also grilled it. Here, plants <laughs> for sharing. I'm not blocking the camera. Right? All right, what do you got? What do you got, Mando? I got uh, uh, asada alabato. Okay. Which is just a, a straight posted up fool. Look how down these fucking, look how fucking high these socks go, fool. And uh, he just like cooked up a Modelo and shit and just like chilled and shit and just like made this shit. Look at that shit. Look how beautiful that is. You see that? Yuck. Uh, what do you have, Andrew? Uh, same, we got the same, we all got the same cut. We got a ribeye uh, cooked in a cast iron on a charcoal grill uh, with your standard uh, rosemary, <clears throat> some garlic, butter basted. Butter basted right there, hot as you like. Um, yeah, delicious. Oh, and I made a I made a fresh chimichurri for it. We're doing South America style. Yeah, I don't need gimmicks. So maybe, <laughs> so what we should do maybe is she's gonna step. Each in take the way. a plate, and then have all three on one plate. Sure. Yeah. Does that, make that sounds sense? good? Sure. Well, you know, and they got plates. Yeah. Yes. We'll let them uh, cut up their uh, their their meals. So Can I get a fork? Oh, and what temperature did everyone cook to? Uh, I like did, medium rare, like medium, medium, medium okay. rare. Yeah. I do want to. I, I, so I'm apparently the only one of us that actually worked in a kitchen. Yeah. And I'll tell you what we do in a kitchen. A lot of people think we use thermometer. No, we do rare, medium rare, uh, medium well, well, and then kick them out of the restaurant. Yeah. And this is what you're doing. You're feeling so for. Uh, you're feeling the tenderness of how it feels there, and the higher up you go the more firm your steak is. If you touch one of my bum cheeks, would you be able to tell where it would relate to a On the cook? steaks? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, come here. After all the times I've already done it, I can tell. <laughs> okay, so that, that's like a, that, that's a relaxed. Like a rare. That's relaxed. That's, a, yeah, that's blue. Oh, wow. Oh, that's yeah, right. I got that's, yeah. yeah. You're some squat. That's you blew your ass. That thing is still, that thing's still <laughs> moving. You know how fat that ass is? I didn't like you before right now. Now I'm in but, love with you. Now here we go. Like, <laughs> now now it's I'm in love with you. Oh, can I borrow a knife? Yeah, I, I think, might be. Uh, Griff's cool. cleaning it off for you. Is, my, my, my. You can use a fancy one. I'm so excited. Okay, yeah, right, here, so let, me, let me wipe the stank off. How are we serving you guys? So, uh, basically, this will be my plate, okay. Gavin's plate, Gus. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah, so really like nice. us on a third. Okay, 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 okay. Did anyone so cut themselves off? while no. making? No, I, I burned myself a little bit. Mm -hmm. You also smoked onto your steak. Well, that's how you get a little bit of a, smoky, uh, a smokiness to it. I explained this when I did the menu reading. Amazing. Oh, wow. Yeah, these, these, are, these are good. Oh, it smells so good. Fuck. All right, here's a couple here. You can. Fuck. We can set. <laughs> You'll know which one's mine because it's got the chimney. Oh, there. if you want an actual, like, uh, explanation of what I did, I just cooked it up no, like my dad would lot. cook it. Uh, I also tried to make, like, a variation of, like, garlic confit, just tried to, like, put it in some foil. The problem is the grill wasn't, like, what I'm used to. Yeah. I'm having the same problem yep. at my uh, apartment where I'm <laughs> struggling to get used to, uh, can I borrow your knife? I will say that is the problem I had every year on the steak off was the grill was always different and it's not my grill at home. Yeah. yeah. Uh, same. No home court advantage is hard. Yeah. Point deduction for the scraping. Yeah. <laughs> it's ASMR. Who are you pointing right now? Who am I pointing? Yeah, like who are you giving points to? Uh, like who just got who will swap? Like, we ha we have like no, no, no. I don't mean like who are you voting for. I mean like who are you de deducting points from? Oh, thank you. I'm missing one. Uh, okay, you right get here. them back. You get them back. You get them <laughs> <Thank> back. <you. laughs> <laughs> Silly Mondo Barb can't vote. Uh, so uh, um, who's buying a seven thousand dollar Mac? Uh, they announced them today. <laughs> I feel like uh, there's, there was an Apple presentation. Oh, the new Mac Pro. We'd be uh, remiss not to M2. not to rag I, I just on hope it. Hope it's as good as the Mac Pro from like six years ago. That's like unused, like absolutely unusable. Like the every, trash can. Every, the trash can everyone bought that's from editing. like a decade that's from ago like now. Twelve years ago. But yeah. that thing is a piece of shit. They still <laughs> sell I, I it. hated that. Full price. They still sell it full price. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Go to the site. They still sell it full Thank price. You. Refurbs? No. And Why would the they wheels still cost like two hundred dollars. Yep. No, the wheels were for the other one. Yeah, oh. that was the new. Yeah. That was the new one. Oh, new I was talking one. about the big boy. No, no, oh. we're talking about the trash can. That was can. like the a black like the tubular thing. It. Yeah. I wish the smell nope. could come across. It <laughs> smells so good. <laughs> that's a, that's that's a good sign, right? Okay. 
I yeah. Sit down is that your plate? Yeah. Is this my plate? Uh, you, you're missing one after Andrew. I think you're missing mine. No, yeah. no, thank you. I'm uh, not a fan of being poisoned <laughs> by my coworkers. Doing, doing, pers- doing really? unbelievably. <laughs> that, making look at that presentation. Nah, I got, I got dinner plans later. Okay. Like you don't spoil your I, I, I don't, I've never been on a steak off. I mine's feel like I would feel like disingenuous. Yeah, mine's also a mess. Just like dip and rip. Are there knives? No, your teeth are knives. Is there a fork? If you have a good chef, you shouldn't need one. Yeah, that little your mouth is a knife. Bitch. Did your we mouth. use up all the? Force? Your mouth is a knife. Not the top song of 2010. <laughs> <laughs> this is A5 Wagyu. I believe you you promised me earlier. Yeah, no, it is actually. Yeah, absolutely. It's actually, it's actually Wagyu. This looks. It good. is. Yeah. Oh. I saw the price tag on the uh, butcher paper and I said, "That's for us." <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> and Hector, forgetting that he bought these for himself, went, "Oh shit." Uh, yeah. Uh, He's got some skirt steak in his in his car that's just rotting now. He's got too sad. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh. oh Baby. You trying yours? Can I use your Baby. Knife? Andrew, can I borrow your knife? Baby. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! What was that? Gavin's Get. smelling. Go, I was just Gavin's smelling the, uh, steaks. <laughs> oh. Helping steak. I'm uh, I'm gonna fuck off and let you guys eat your steaks, and I think there's other people that probably want to come on and say hi to you and stuff. Uh, Love you, Jeff. I'm not trying to steal steal any camera time. You want to make a podcast on Thursday? I, I do want to make a podcast, and then I want to make Treasure a bunch of steaks? supplemental yeah. content, yeah. and then I just want to make stuff with you. Before. I want to make stuff with you 24 hours a day for the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Really it's good do. seeing you, bud. It was. I <laughs> 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 by you, I mean all of you. Uh, anyway, it's a, uh, congratulations, a tremendous run. You guys should be so proud of yourselves Thanks, Jeff. and each other. It is it is no small feat to. I mean, think about think about the shows you were enjoying on television or online because you you know TV's dead. T- when you started appearing on this podcast, yeah. and where they are now, not around anymore. Uh, not around in a long time, right? There have been like forty seasons of thirty seasons of Survivor in the time that you guys have been on this show. It's like it's a huge feat, and I hope you guys recognize that. And uh, I'm also very excited Thanks about the, the next generation coming. But we're, I just on our fourth president. You're on your fourth president. That's fucking insane. <laughs> and there was some eight-year terms in there. That is that. fucking insane. I hate that so much. Anyway, I love you guys to death. I'm excited about all of your new productions, and uh, I will count myself a fan of all of them, especially the ones I'm in. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I love you guys. And seriously, congratulations. Love you, love you. Awesome. Thank you, Jeff. Well said. Thank you for stopping by. Hey everyone, want to take a moment to remind you that RTX 2023 is happening this July 7th through 9th. RTX is our absolute favorite time of the year where we get to interact with all the amazing people that give us the opportunity to make content. It's a celebration of all things Rooster Teeth with panels, special guests, community artists, cosplay, and more. It's going to be exclusive reveals, meet and greets with Rooster Teeth talent, uh, special merch available only during the event, uh, changing things up a little bit, uh, how the convention feels this year. going to be awesome. Uh, imagine a mini Epcot-style convention show floor with different attractions and activations from your favorite Rooster Teeth brands. All wrapped up in a summer camp theme. Uh, it's summer camp for indoor kids with face jams, rat and grackle pub, a red web escape room, a fuck face museum, team of hunter mini golf, and even more cool stuff to do that we're saving for attendees to experience. Uh, I don't know about you. I'm looking forward to meeting all of you there. So head over to rtxaustin.com, get more information about the event, and buy your badge. Tell them Gus sent you. You filthy animals. In addition to my steak. What? Um, a pinch of salt. Oh, oh I would love a pinch I already of salt. Ate- could you, I already ate yours. Could you hand deliver? Well, then I'm, I'll put the salt in your mouth. It's still in my mouth. Here, okay. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. I've been waiting. Don't swallow. Don't swallow. Huh, huh, yeah. I've been waiting Maybe to try that salt into his mouth. It's I'm, legit chewed up in his mouth yeah. right now. I've that, it open your mouth. Open your mouth. <laughs> oh, it's so much for one bite. <laughs> Delicious. I would love a pinch of salt. <laughs> I'm the only one who uses hand, hand, any hand sanitizer or cleaning methods, by the way. I trust you. Beautiful. I, in fact, made my, made my hands dirtier. I wiped them on things on the ground outside in the parking lot. Yeah, I cast iron Dedication. on the floor on the ground outside of the lot. So. Yeah. Which one are you guys starting with? I'm starting with this one with the brown. Have... Griffs. Oh, wow. Did you hear that, Armando? The one with the brown. Oh, yeah. Did you hear that? I, I, was, I was so hungry I started eating already. Oh. <laughs> Which one did you have already? I, had, I, I tried Griffs first, and then I had Mondo's in my mouth when he I'm came over with the I'm trying Griffs right now. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, let's make a mega steak. That glaze. Yeah? Oh Something God. about these plastic plates, they always have sticky goo on the bottom. <laughs> Mine at home have the same problem. The it was a, uh, what, what kind of glaze was it? Cherry what? It's a cherry fig balsamic like, yeah. Cherry fig balsamic. So good. I would eat that. That was good. It was good. Thank you. I Thank would. you, chef. Now I'm going to try the salt one. I can't believe it on knives. I'm going to try it. Yeah, I'm trying Mondo's now. I ate it all whole as one bite just because mm. 
it seemed like he put it together and composed it. Burnt him? Yeah, he went um, ape shit on that. I will say, I would be very side, upset but... if at a steakhouse, <laughs> I ordered a steak and it was one little bite like that that had been prepared with everything <laughs> on it already. Mm. What you what you what you thinking? I'm eating Mondo's right now. Very good as well. All right, Consistency gonna... has been wonderful across the board. I'm gonna try Andrew's now. Yeah, These taste even better because I didn't make them. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That is a... That chimichurri is incredible. Is that what it's called? The stuff on, on mm -hmm. Andrews? Yeah, chimichurri, yeah. I, I, yeah. whatever it is, it smells delicious. It is, it's like a, a Brazilian salsa made based in cilantro and uh, olive oil. It's a uh, flat leaf parsley, cilantro, olive oil, chili flake, salt and pepper, shallot, garlic, sherry vinegar, and uh, lemon juice. You, you can make it with less ingredients. I put that on everything I eat. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, so I made that chimichurri into a compound butter mm -hmm. uh, like a few months ago. I, like, Life changing. I wanted to put it on every, oh, and then you use that com chimichurri compound butter to put on grilled cheese. Ooh. You will oh. never eat a grilled cheese. I think I just came. <laughs> it is the best, on, the best. On that same note, Frank's Red Hot, I put that shit on <laughs> These are all These are incredible. All so good. Oh my god. I don't know if there could be a winner. I think the winner is us. It's <gasps> us. That's a fucking cop out. Are you guys trying each other's steaks yeah. as well? Yeah. I haven't tried it yet. That's some real friends me friends we no. made along the way bullshit. Come okay. on. Let me um oh, wait. let me make you guys some first. Hold on. Yeah. Did you get the sauce? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Put me up, Poppy. Ooh, I'm gonna give you this. Listen, the worst part look at, look at that. about mm. oh, that's good. doing the steak off typically yeah, was yeah. that it's so hot here. Yeah. That having to walk in and out and then work over the grill, which is also hot. But this year they had to contend with something we never had to contend with in years past, which is it was raining off and on it was all day. Storming, like huge, huge storms today. Yeah, the one where I um, cooked was very like windy hot. It was like oh a yeah, it was wind. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, what a crazy. Steak off that mm. was. <laughs> I'm proud of my Big Mac steak. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> of your steak. <laughs> they, oh my god, these are so yeah, good. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't know where to vote there. I think Griff's consistency is okay. perfect. <clears throat> I definitely went uh, back for Griff's. The, the problem I'm having here is I love this chimichurri so much, mm -hmm. but I don't know if it's like... The chimichurri or the steak? Should we like brush uh -huh. them off the steak and try? Oh yeah, have some. Yeah. yeah, yeah, brush them off the head and just have the steak steak by itself. I'm sad because then I don't. That's eat the some confidence there. If you want, before. if you want to come here, you can try the steaks just like steaks. We call that uh, uh, steaks a la verga way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak Spanish, the but Spanish. I, every brown person yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to assume that's that not mean? what it is. Uh, yeah, steaks <laughs> the dick way. Steaks at my dick. Yeah, <laughs> they're all just so good. I can't get over it. Oh, let me have a piece. I want to buy you. I'm fucking oh. going. It takes so a second. Is it it is it you and Bernie arguing over who can make the best. I think steak? we were arguing over sous vide. Yeah, if I remember right. Because he made his sous vide, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, this you one. didn't. Which I still contend is bullshit. And still who, not a fan. Who won that year? Mm. Sorry, I, I mean, I uh, could have been anybody. <laughs> Kill you. <laughs> Did I? What was the, what was the no, year I got, I got poisoned? It. it was that year. The first. Was it, first, was it the, the first, first one? Year. Yeah. That's the year that oh, I made the. Um, I shat myself. The uh, the Korean barbecue marinade steak, and I know it wasn't me because I forget who it was. If it was Christian or uh, Brian who took home my steak, and they <laughs> ate it, and they didn't get sick. I didn't get sick at all, though, and mm -hmm. I had both of them. Was that what you made? Uh, me the one time I came over. Yeah, that was good. And I also I think we do another one because it's been a decade <laughs> hey, did, Gus, did you try the steak without the chimichurri? Just like I did. Saw? It's very good. Excellent cook. So good. The oh whole thing God. Wow. Amazing like really highlight of the year Having oh. a having the new cast cook st steaks for for us and they're all really good Did we ever do a year where we did all of the food related podcasts that we were going to? Because we wanted to do, There's we like had pancakes, Sundays. but then oh, we're also going to do oh, like I a Sunday about the based fucking one. Salt. Sunday Monday, Sunday, yeah, Monday. and uh, Taco Tuesday. And uh, do we ever do we either of them? No, <laughs> we've talked about it. We, I think we had ice cream once. Mm. Yeah, I, think, I feel like we we did a different food podcast at some point. That wasn't pancakes and it wasn't steak. Maybe someone in the chat might remember. I wonder where you got that. We did ice cream. We did pizza. We did pizza. That wasn't a pizza sphere. That was a joke. 
having PTSD all of a sudden. <laughs> we ate all the pumpkin spice stuff once when we were still in the temporary mm. space at the other office. Uh, right at, like back in 2021. I, I was, I was just, just eating uh, all the gristle. I saw a compilation. I forgot that we used to do this in other places sometimes. <laughs> what do you mean? Like we did one from Here, a bar. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, like, you're in it's South by. Yeah, yeah we did a couple of ones for South yeah, by yeah, on location. I forgot all about those. Do you remember the one we did? Uh, I forget what garlic. state we were in, but it's when we filmed so that immersion. A, so you get uh, I forget your... Georgia. Do you want, do you want, oh, some, yeah. do you want some of the, this one? We filmed the, yeah. the podcast in the little, like, observation tower yeah. up there. I think oh, it was I tower say right it was like above the... where I threw up. Yeah, exactly. I want to say it was, like, the 10th anniversary podcast or something like that. It was something special about it. I forgot about that. Yeah, we did. We made a 10th anniversary video. Where we all had to read the same script, and then it was cut up yeah. to different people saying different things. And I'm not sure if I've, I ever posted it, but while I was filming my lines, Monty threw a Nerf dart from all the way across the studio, <laughs> and it bounced off my open eye. Like, it just hit <laughs> right in the middle of my eyeball. And I was like... <laughs> At least it didn't. And he, and he was like, <laughs> from, and it was the it was like the entire length of that old big animation space in Ralph Abelino. At least it wasn't a suction cup one, and it didn't no, like, yeah. stick to your eye. <laughs> but it was such a good aim. I couldn't believe it. I'll, I'll see if I can find that footage and give it to broadcast someone. Somewhere? Yeah, to post. Oh man, yeah, that ten years ago. But yeah, ten years ago. Jesus Christ. So do you, do you does anyone have a favorite? Amongst uh, oh, these steaks, I liked Armando's bite, but that might just be because it was there was so little of it. Mm. I want I want to say just the steak cooked on its own. I think Griff had the best steak, mm. but I but think like as a one, whole right? combination, yeah. I think I think Andrew's might be. <laughs> He's making the mega bite. Putting them all together. Mega yeah, bite. Uh, what man, about you? I think I'm leaning. The, the problem is I'm, I'm leaning towards oh. Andrew, but I don't know if I'm um, biased <laughs> because oh, of wow. the chimichurri. Oh. I'm trying to wrestle with oh. that. How is the mm, megabyte? Mark Maron. Oh. <laughs> it's so oh. good. Is there oh, enough oh, to make we're, a we're, second we're megabyte? Yeah. Uh, there, apparently there's a trophy. Oh. Oh, there, right, there's a trucked up trophy. <laughs> <my> trophy. Oh. <laughs> don't uh, worry, you'll win it and then they won't give you the oh, thing I think all three of us <laughs> picked someone different. Well, who'd you pick, Gav? He said Mondo. You like Mondo's bite, you said. I did, but there was so little of it. That wow. there's so much Mondo. It's a little. I, I think mm. I built it up because I wanted. I didn't want. I wanted to savor the one little bite. You want another bite? Yeah. Because also, I guess like, are we judging just the steak itself or like the whole package? Right. I, I guess it's the package. Because it's like the, yeah. how they prepare the it, yeah. what's on it, everything. I also really like Griff's. Uh, mm. What's it called again? The, the cherry fig the, balsamic the, the production. Cherry balsamic production. Yeah. It's a, yeah. God, that's so good. I love a little bit of sweet on a steak, but. And Andrews was just really good too. Fuck. Oh, fuck. What do you? I'm just, what? I'm just glad none of them were bad. I'm yeah. just glad no, no, no one's no. gonna be they like, well, the time to go to the hospital. Yeah. So I want to let you know that point? I fucking ash cigarette all over my steak. And it was still good. And yeah. it was still good. Hey, you imagine what? if what? I had tried ever. Hey, I didn't Rondo, get any you of that ash flavor. cigarettes on our steaks. Yeah, that's that is true. So if theory. anything, I, I'm the one constant. <laughs> so who do you all think had the best steak? Not counting your own. Out of the other two people, who would you pick? Out of the other two, and you people? can't choose yourself. Right, cannot choose yourself. Cannot choose yourself. Um, Andrew. Hmm. Just because I've I've never had a chimichurri I liked before until now. Yeah. I'm gonna go with yeah. Griff, but only because I like my chimichurri better. <laughs> oh, wow. Griff, this might come Griff. down to you. I think yours is a little, just a little, a hair <laughs> oh, wait, too chunky. Yeah, it goes, why, so it goes on the wait, Andrew. So, so, Andrew. So if Andrew picks I, Mondo, it's a three-way tie. Yeah. The processor, mm -hmm. I left the blade in the dishwasher, so I had to chop that by hand, <gasps> dog. I why don't we do, hand. next you know, week, you do a chimichurri off. <laughs> and have us judge. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just do a cooking show every week <laughs> moving Our forward. Yeah. For <laughs> Pick Andrew. Um, honestly, I... I will say I liked Armando's. I'm so sorry, but because Armando curated me a, a bite, like it was a little work of art. It, had it was a little sculpted. Butter. It was sculpted. It had a little salt on it. It was very personalized. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He knows me. Come get your bite. I think that means it's a tie. It's a three-way tie. It's a three-way tie. It's a three-way tie. Oh, is it? Oh shit. Uh, yeah. I mean, in that case, uh, grip. Does that mean we have to do it again next year? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what that means. <laughs> Uh, so break, okay. break that Hector, trophy in three parts. Yeah, cut no. it up into three parts. Uh, and, do and it. it no, them. we need that for season two. I guess it's like the, the question is, what, which one do you want more of? 
Yes. Well, there's no more oh. of any of them. Are, are they all done? No, yeah. I still have some of mine. He still has a hefty mine's amount of gone. Mine's gone. Mine's gone. Andrew's is gone. You still have that salt shaker over there? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> can I get a hit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a hit it's, over here? It's weird, but like I looked at both steaks, and you can see mine. Mine is mostly gristle. There's a lot of Yeah, fat. mine's yeah. a lot. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of You buy me a lot, lot of less to cut? These are, I, I looked nope. at all of them in the fridge. Like they all looked great. They all looked identical. They, they all looked, looked good identical. from the outside. But but the, I, I will the, say, it, I think my best uh, part of the grill. meat on its own, I'll say Griff's meat. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just That's meat crazy. on its own. Did you try it by itself? That's crazy. No. Like it's wrong. You didn't try it on your own on its own. Yeah. It was yeah, bathed in the sauce. It, uh, the, the, the sauce, sauce on melted the on top. Yeah. It melted while I was waiting because it was supposed to be firm on top, so you could eat around it. But we waited so long in the back that the heat just like it just had a good consistency. It. it wasn't too chewy, wasn't too hard. Like it was the perfect. It's just, that, it's just that sous vide. The sous vide yeah. like makes it like breaks down. Like it's the slow cook. Yeah. Like yeah. when I was flipping it on the grill, the because isn't there, a ribeye is like two cuts, right? Is it? Or no, T bones two cuts. Yeah. But yeah. it was but it's got the round part and then the side part, yeah. that's the one part that, that fell apart while I was cooking <laughs> it. Oh, <laughs> that happens it. sometimes. Yeah. So I noticed when it was on the plate that it was a little Yeah, because uh, I was cutting it and I was like, nope, this is too tendy. That happens. <laughs> but it wasn't raw. Can I yeah. can I You can about? eat raw beef. I know, but it wasn't. I was worried about it being raw. Well, you know how I've said in the past just... that on a plane, I'm like the best passenger ever, just inoffensive. Yeah. No flight attendant would ever remember me for yeah. registering in, in any regard. Mm -hmm. I registered to a flight attendant. What does that mean? Oh, no. I did something by mistake, and a flight attendant said I've never seen that happen before. What'd you do? <laughs> on a recent plane journey, I, during the demonstration of some of the safety equipment, I plugged into the flight attendant seatbelt. <laughs> you know that like, the demo one? She just had it like down by her waist, and I was just like reaching like this. And you grabbed it? And it was like on top of mine. <laughs> so I plugged my seatbelt into the other half of her. You were paying so little attention to what was going on. Yeah, I just reached out. It was like dangling over my arm on my thing, and I just went, and I, and I was like, oh. <laughs> and she was like, oh. <laughs> Holy shit. I have two things. <laughs> the first thing is that I had recently something very similar happen, but in the opposite way, where I am always clocked by flight attendants. In fact, in fact, I walk on the plane and everyone feels the plane shift. Yeah. I have not, not even a bit. I have once been asked to move sides of the seat because of the flight's weight distribution <laughs> on a two-seater per oh row. My God. Uh, recently, I got the same thing where she said, I've never seen anybody do that before, but it was for a good thing. I was sitting in an emergency row because obviously, I mean, look at me next to these. Two Where would your legs go? Uh, out the window. Normally, <laughs> I just pop that bad boy open, yeah. let him hang out. Check out. Yeah. Oh, look at that video. Good old Asiana yeah. Airlines. Oh yeah. Uh, I <laughs> when they came over to do the the whole spiel, where she was like, uh, "Now I'd like to ask you guys, and you need to verbally confirm whether or not you can like help on the flight." And she does the whole thing. I verbally confirm, yeah. and then she goes, "Now, if you take out the thing." and read it and I was like particularly like oh, okay yeah sure whatever so I took it out and I read it as she was going through it and she said she had never seen that happen before. <laughs> Usually people just like have headphones on looking down. I asked future. her I was like how long have you been a flight attendant? She's like man like three four decades now at this point. <laughs> that means wow. for 40 years no one she's been like emergency <laughs> safety please read it and people are like eh. Yeah, I know. What usually happens is they look her dead in the eye, put a Xanax on their tongue, yeah. in, <laughs> sunglasses on, and just lean back. Yeah, and okay. to be clear, I was reading them for my own benefit. They're like, well, you assist the rest of the plane. It's like, no, I'm fucking gone. Yeah. Yeah. I got to get out of here. You'll never find me. I have 20 minutes to get all the supplies on the island. Yeah. I, I, I was on a flight with, uh, with Esther a couple of weeks ago, and we were sitting in the exit <laughs> row, and like the plane's like pushed back, and we start taking off. And it's like, I, I like look around, I turn around, I go, they never asked us if we were willing and able to help. <gasps> like, we, we made it. We did it. What they, if you're they, not? They, they forgot. Because oh, I'm not willing or able. Right. <laughs> it felt wrong. Suckers. I wanted to ring it like, teacher, you didn't give us our homework. <laughs> <laughs> so is the idea that you're supposed to open the door and then just start shoving people out? Or you meant to get out yourself? I think it's, you're supposed to open the door. And in some planes, you have to deal with the door mm -hmm. and then get out. I want to say okay. also, there's some planes where there's like an image of the person helping people through the window. No, that's not happening. <laughs> <You're> out. <laughs> I'm out. 
Hey What's Gus, huh. you see that video of that dude who had a panic attack on the flight while they were landing and he opened the door? Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's How do you do that? that the How did he not the, get sucked out? Is that the one that just happened? The one yeah. in Korea? Yeah. They're not supposed to do that. Also, before we go any further, oh. I like to posit a conspiracy theory on your story is that the flight attendants look over and saw you guys and went, oh, fuck yeah, they're willing. You're <laughs> they know they're shit. Damn, bro, shit. I mean, they pop that Xanax, put the AirPods <laughs> in, put the sunglasses on. <laughs> and they went, bro, even doped off. The they like, got us. He even uh, fucking barred out. He knows what's up. Yeah. They, they were low enough altitude. That's why they he didn't Yeah, that's why they were that's where the door. Yeah, because they were on descent to land. Oh, yeah. They were, they were like, low enough oh. where I'm just like, ride it out, bro. You're about to land. Right. You're there. You're practically that there. Vid that video is horrifying. Yeah. yeah. If you, like, I think 12 people had to go to the hospital. Yeah. And that's because like, like, they couldn't yeah. breathe. Can you, right. Can you imagine being on an airplane <laughs> and an airline so shitty that the pilot come over the speaker and be like, hey, y'all just got to thug it out real quick. Yeah. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. Just yeah. uh, we're hold, looking at, hold it we're down. We're not even dropping the oxygen masks. We're too low. Like, yeah. Look, fine. I, it's yeah, no couldn't they have done pressure. that for people? It's in God's hands. I think yeah. would they have been like, it, it wouldn't have mattered because the pressure was already too great. Yeah. yeah. It wouldn't have done anything. I right. Some, I need to watch I think we're low enough, you said. Right. It, 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 it didn't it's matter. It's weird seeing people's up. skin move, like how it moved from all the air hitting it. Like, it's just like... There was one dude just sitting there who looked like he just had his arms crossed. It was like, <laughs> <Yeah>. yep. <laughs> Another yep. Tuesday for old what are you, Jeremy. I mean, how would you pose if you're... So, like, oh, straight you, up, I would be reading. I would flip. <laughs> <laughs> you would you'd, see you'd the camera. Like, Newspaper getting whipped around. Whipped around. <laughs> 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 no, every, a Kindle. <laughs> every every prop you would try to use would just get sucked out of your hands. <laughs> Trying to do the half already done Sky Mall uh, crossword. Yeah. yeah. It's Wait, crazy. You're telling we'll... me I'll pull out anything and it'll get sucked? <laughs> I gotta get to Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're all just one lunatic away from that experience. Yeah, and I think every time we fly, Asiana Airlines said they're not selling certain exit row seats anymore on planes like that. Because of that one incident? Right. That's crazy. Wow. Why? It doesn't make sense. The That's, hell? Are you, are you slightly hopeful that you'll be on a flight where something happens and they go, do we have a pilot no, on board? No, no, God, no. And they'll be like, yeah! <laughs> I've seen some pilots who are like private pilots who make uh, like little business cards. They're like, if you need, any, if you need anything, I'm let me know. I'm in the back. I'm a pilot. And they'll like hand it out when they get on board. I mean, I feel like that would be a pretty cool moment for you. Save uh, a whole flight. No, 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 no. I would fucking choke. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they uh, when I was when I was growing up, one of my friend's dads, he told me this story. And this is the thing is like growing up. I don't know if this is true. Maybe you've come across this story in your plane dealings, uh, I guess. Uh, but my friend of mine's dad was on a flight and the uh, emergency stairs came out <gasps> like during like during descent. And so they had to open the door and like hold like get a flight attendant to like hold Another flight attendant, like strap what in, the so they could fuck? like retract because like the stairs are down. They you can't land enough. with the stairs are down. Right. So you had they had to get like basically daisy chain a bunch of people to like pull like the stairs what, back in. So what they if could, someone's got weak fingers? Weak fingers? Yeah. I don't know. What if you, you climb that morning? How's your grip like, strength? Uh, <laughs> yeah. How's your grip strength? You uh, you uh, lift. So like they they either. managed to get it in and land the plane, and like everyone on the plane went to a bar afterward, and like we just like. Basically, <laughs> commiserated like we got away like it is got free. Uh, it changed their lives. <laughs> are criminally underpaid. Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but flight attendants only start getting paid when the door is shut. Yeah. So when they're boarding and everyone's being a dickhead yeah. about the overhead space and nobody could find their seat and people are being little shitheads, they're not getting paid is yet until that door is shut. Isn't it after yeah. every airline? Like and then also when you land, you like up yeah. Up I think the second the door is open, they also stop getting yeah, paid. I believe that is the case. Well, yes. it's only when the door like, is closed. But if you're like taxiing, you're stuck on the plane. They're like, getting paid. They, do they get paid for that? Yeah. Okay. But if the did, second that door is open, that'd be fucked up. So what's up. the reason for not just paying people while they're at work? Oh, really? It's crazy, right? Like, yeah. Why that industry? Isn't every airline does that? There's yeah. not one airline who's like, hey, we pay them just when they're at work. And I believe it's all of them. Yeah. Which hopefully will change at some point. Because I would argue a lot on boarding people onto a flight and dealing with human beings in that situation. And also having to uh, hold your body out of plane holding stairs up so the whole plane doesn't burst into flames. One time I, I landed at LAX and in a similar situation we landed, pulled up to the jet bridge and they let the stairs out at the front of the plane but they shouldn't have. Um, it was like a regional jet like, and they couldn't get it back up and closed but they weren't all the way far enough up to the jet bridge, so the jet bridge couldn't reach us yet. So like a bunch of ground people had to come and lift the stairs off the ground while a pilot taxied the plane a little more <laughs> to get up to the jet bridge and then put it back down. It was the weirdest thing, I'm like, 
we're here we're here yeah we're th like we just equal five more feet that's the most frustrating you showed thing. me that time lapse of everyone boarding and then unboarding a plane yeah and how the plane was like oh well, like the weight of people right oh, like for everyone God. getting on uh, i don't remember what video that was it might have been the the austin air traffic or the we only text about uh planes and video games are you smoking a cigarette I think he's no. trying to, but Griff keeps stopping him. At first, I thought it was one of those little candy sticks that we all used to print no. 10 or uh, cigarettes when we were kids. It's real. Little Popeyes. It's real rabbit season, <laughs> duck season over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> truly, truly. This is some Tom and Jerry ass shit going on right now. Are you guys now. excited to uh, be on the podcast every week with that guy? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even Hector has a little. <laughs> Can you blow out a match before the top bit has finished burning? Let's see. It's impossible. Can you bring out the fancy camera so we can actually <laughs> see if we're actually doing it? Is Correct. that an impossibility? <laughs> I've never been able to do it. That's a, that's impossible. It's so possible. You're like, no, so it's not because when you light a match before it, before the, the red goes away. Bit. Why? Why? How is that possible? It doesn't make sense to me. That you can do that. You can do it. Explain. Explain. Science. Further. I would. Has, so you're saying someone has done that? I did it with compressed air. Oh, oh. You but I, if you could do it with that, you could do it with your gob. With your gob? Yeah. Yeah. Know, with your man. maw, with your craw, <laughs> with your other names for mouth. I do not like green eggs. Whole, and ham. The whole of a human, any hole has so many names on a human body. Oh. That's true. Yeah. Like, there's nothing for elbow. There's like elbow, weenus. That's, well, that's the specific the part of the elbow. Right. Hinge. Elbow. Funny. Bone. Hinge. No one's calling it a hinge. What it is? What about your eye holes? Sockets. Um, That's the only one. Peepers? Peep. I was gonna say. Peepers? Yeah, but those are your eyes. I'm yeah. talking about the holes. Oh. Peepholes. Uh, <laughs> your peep your ocular cavities. <laughs> there you go. The window framing of your soul. Oh, that's yeah. good. That's a good one. Not the windows. No. The window framing. Yeah. I, I the always load bearing like wall of the Gavin soul. Gavin gullet. <laughs> okay, now go with asshole. Go yeah. with your bum hole. Ah, uh, bum hole. Yep. Asshole, sphincter, Butt Jeff hole. Ramsey. Uh, <laughs> uh, I got a bunch of them. Uh, uh, your anal passage. Anal there, passage. Yep. That's a good one. What's a good, what's That's one a you <laughs> I think you just can't go wrong with anus. Anus. It's perfect. Put that, that, that on a shirt. You just can't you go know? wrong with anus. You know what, you know, <laughs> you know what the heart of, and I, I, I don't think anyone here is going to know it unless you Google it. I'm trying to think of the hardest body part to name. What Doesn't do you call the part anything? of the finger underneath your fingernail? Nail bed. Not your nail, not like the sides of it. I mean, like oh, your fingernail falls off, and you see yeah. that is little. Is that not part? your nail bed? That is the nail bed. That's is the it? Nail bed, yeah. Because yeah. oh, that's where the shit. nail goes to sleep. Clungus. <laughs> Just puts a little blanket, a little stocking cap, a little handle. Exactly. You know, pewter candle holder. <laughs> is there a different? What that? Yeah, I guess there's like no unnamed part, huh? No. So the, the, no, our body isn't the ocean where scientists are like. There's seventy <laughs> percent. Oh, unless, no. unless you're a woman. woman. Yeah, yeah. Unless, unless you're, you're a, a woman. Unless you're a woman. And they uh, discovered something new about the clitoris in two thousand. Oh, oh yeah. Year two. What did they learn? That it exists. Yeah. Oh. People, we've been looking for it since before time itself. <laughs> Barbara, you think that we're making a joke? It's like, it was like, it what, was 2016 when it was scientifically, like, noted what's that the, the clitoris name, exists. What's the name of the squirt hole? Oh, that's just the vagina. <laughs> <laughs> but, so you talk about, like, body parts that don't have names. There's always something that's frustrated me, and I got some Spanish speakers here that maybe can share my frustration. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. uh -huh. Like, when you when you wake up in the morning and you have those eye crusties. Mocos. Mocos. Well, yeah. We call them, like, añas. Añas. Eye mocos is what my mom would call them. That's right. what my dad would call But see, in English, it's like, you might call it sleep, but some, some people, people just... Like, yeah, sleep so, in your eyes. Go. But you guys do, would you... Oh, like okay, wait, wait, boogers. English speakers, would you guys call it eye boogers? Like eye boogers. Like, in uh, English? Usually say, like, gunk. Really? Like you're I cr crusties. Yeah, a bit crust. You crusty. crusties? I feel like eye boogers. Would you guys call it non Spanish speakers? Would you guys call it anyone in your family call, call it eye boogers? Eye boogers? Yeah. That's crusties. what I feel Really? Eye boogers. Yeah. Yo, I thought white people called it eye boogers. Yeah, see? <laughs> it's like a weird thing. But we're also both Yo, not American. Yo, I've never heard of crusties either. That's fucking or weird. Or what you, would you say? We're both not American. Gunk. So. Yeah, you guys aren't American. But. Well, but I just asked a room full of red blooded patriots. Well, we don't know. <laughs> I have a question in regards to. And in Australia, they call it crusty. <laughs> in the same vein, with a question. You know how like, I'm sorry, dick cheese. Oh yeah, smegma. Smegma, whatever smegma? it's called. I don't like. That. But like, do, what's it called? Like, cause women slime. Is what's that? that? <laughs> 
is that? Yeah, women slimes. Women like slimes. Like a snail, hey, like hey, snail trail? Like hey, that, hey, slime. It's a different... Hey, what's up, slime? <laughs> Are you talking cervical mucus? Cerv yeah, just like there's a snail trail. Bits and things. It's, but it's not, called, it's not called smegma no. for women. Well, no, women have Barbara, snack. women are cleaner. First of all, I think that yeah. First yeah. of all, I think that. Secondly, I gotta tell you, unfortunately, I don't know much about smegma because your boy is circumcised. Hey. Oh come on. <laughs> 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 oh my god. I think smegma. This is gonna gross a lot of people out. What is smegma? Smegma is like buildup from the foreskin uh, between the skin of your penis and like. The foreskin that covers your penis. Yeah. Why? I was salivating. I, I was I, <laughs> you could hear me have to breathe and. You know how when you're wearing like a sweater that's a little bit too long and you get a I bunch have, of like what around your head? Yeah. <laughs> do this, do this. The dirtiest part of your body, whatever it is, just take your like bare palm and like rub it. Uh, yeah. And you know how like that shit comes up? Yeah. It's like that, but because your dick's always moist. Yeah. Huh. Barb, it's you're, like you're, a, but just Barb. take showers. You don't have the problem if you're clean. You or snip it off completely. Why? Why do you have earlobes? Snip them off. They don't drag on the floor. Get them like out of here. They don't drag like a. Well, okay, here's it. Just yeah, but like I don't watch porn and go. Why his ears look so weird? <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact. That's do. what I'm searching. Yeah. I'm searching <laughs> weird, weird ears. Skin is important. Leave Whoa, them do, on there. Do women like big ears? Is it important? What, what were well, you saying? There. It, fucking chum advertisement. It, it, evolution has determined it's important. Yeah, we it, have appendages. It protects the bell end from losing its sensitivity. I am so glad this is the last conversation Gus is having on this podcast. Yeah, everyone's going to get mad at us for it, though. We've had many, many iterations I've had of this conversation. I've had a lot of conversations about uh, circumcision versus non-circumcision. This podcast <laughs> existed before we knew the clitoris was uh, wow. existed. Oh my God. This podcast is older than the clitoris? Yes. Yeah. Also, wow. I just want knowledge about the clitoris. Knowledge about the clitoris. No, yeah, and there the was clitoris. Like, there was a there was a few humble few folks out there that knew about it, and they were guarding that secret. They were gatekeeping you coming. <laughs> I just want you to know about it. There's a there's a big dick stud out there who could have told science and <laughs> no, didn't. But now, but there's a cabal. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of which, uh, I gotta say, uh, I don't advocate for or against circumcision. All right, I, it's a touchy subject. We're gonna get yeah. a bunch I of protests against the against office. Against <laughs> Uh, yeah, go for it. I don't care, man. I it I would didn't I didn't know it happened. I had no choice in the matter. Yeah, <laughs> I, was I like, wasn't. Hey, watch it there, dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Getting fresh with you. What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> you, got, you got some real stranger danger there, like on day two. Hey, mom, you know this guy? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Did they give you a little bit of wine? So high up. Can they go higher? Hey, mom, do you know this guy? <laughs> that was like Mickey that Mouse was... doing an impression of someone doing a Mickey Mouse impression. That was exactly Elmo. That was Elmo <laughs> gets circumcised. <laughs> Say, that, that tickles. Everyone's... That, that tickles. Everyone's oh, favorite that, Sesame Street it. episode, Elmo gets a circumcision. <laughs> <laughs> Did they have an after school special about teaching people about circumcision? I don't think so. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to do it without going into falsetto. I'm just trying to do it like yeah. normal, normal. Are you boys. ever surprised Ooh. that somehow we did this podcast for like 15 years and none of us ever, ever said anything stupid or wrong? <laughs> it's you amazing. Could? It really speaks to the professionalism. I of, think that's great. What well, great luck that yeah. we managed to do that. We, and we got every yeah. fact right on the first try. Never I misremembered should be anything. This shirt while I'm saying that. <laughs> no one ever. No one ever went to the comments to correct anything you never ever. Was. Never oh, happened. Even, no was, one's brought up anything that you said 12 years ago no. I was while you were a dumb kid. Because you were perfect the whole time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Everything we've said, we totally agree with now. Aced Wait, it. Nailed it. Ow. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. Um, no, 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 we, get canceled. Do you want to do it? Do it. one last <laughs> kind of sum of what what's happening? And, uh, yeah. Uh, in case anybody tuned uh, in late, uh, podcast new podcast crew over there. We got uh, Griff Mondo and Andrew Rosas taking the reins. Um, whole, could not be happier with them. For years, I've always worried about handing off the podcast and finding people who I thought would be would do justice to the show and i'm so happy to have you three uh take the torch i can't you are three of my favorite people here with teeth three of the funniest people i know and i know you guys are gonna fucking kill it and I look forward to yeah! watching the show instead of uh, being on it <laughs> thank you guys all right Could not agree more thank you guys for watching bye so that was this container of headlight fluid right <laughs> <laughs> what what what, what headlight fluid? What?
podcast. He looks like a lost puppy without the podcast. Yeah, I thought he was just gonna like go home. Oh man, what am I gonna do with all my new free time? I think he thinks this is his home. Oh man, everyone here is too young, except for Andrew. What? It's just, I don't think it's a safe space for him anymore. Ooh, I can finally read Ruby. We need to take him someplace else, someplace he'll be out of danger. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh yeah, we're gonna go through his old tweets and get him canceled. No, 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 no. First of all, he's way too private. And secondly, he won't accept my follow request. Okay, we can do it your way. <sighs> oh boy. Man, I love hiking. It's like cosplaying as a deer or something. <sighs> yeah, man. Or something. God, dude, this is the hardest thing I'll ever have to do. Hey, what are you guys doing? Go on! Get out of here! Yeah, get out of here, Gus! Can't you see we don't want you anymore? We don't love you! Go home! Yeah, you can't come back with us, okay? There's no more podcasting for you there. And take and Gus with you! Yeah! Wait, are you guys Harry and the Hendersoning me? Ah! No! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised y'all even know that movie. Are you guys sure that Gus will be safer out there? Definitely. Yeah, we left him so deep in those woods, no one's gonna be able to find him. Or harm him. And that's important. Okay, if you say so. All right, let's go check on Jeff. Yeah. 